So I ordered a portable washing machine and a clothesline for that just stands up in on the patio. I'm going to unbox it and show you what it looks like and tell you what it does. I really wasn't expecting it today. I'm so happy. This will help me not have to do so much laundry when I go have to drag it down there to the laundry room that finally opened a couple of two or three weeks ago finally because dragging it across the street that busy street and trying to get there and back and upstairs it's just too much and the reviews are good on this one this one on Amazon was $72 no tax no shipping to $72.99 this one from was from Walmart. You have to order it online. Um, I think it was eighteen dollars. Then you it was over twenty dollars to get with taxes and shipping. So let me get this started now. I'm not gonna be able to wash my sheets and my blankets and towels. I'll still have to take them to the laundry room, but. I do clothes washing more than I do that because I wait for my towels to pile up and then I take them down to wash. My blankets and stuff, you know, you only wash what, two or three times a year. Depending on how much, you know, family you got, you might wash them more, but it's just me, so I wash them, you know. I don't wash them that often. So let's get this open. I'm excited. And see what it does. I did not expect that laundry, that washer, to be that big. Look how, how big that is. Oh, it's a nice size and tight side too. Oh, yeah. I only thought I was going to be able to get two or three shirts in there. We'll see. I'm going to, you know, read, of course, read that. But you put it in your sink or your bathtub, and it plugs up, and you have a, looks like an in, no, you have to add water to it. It has a drain, drain hose that you put in there, and that, so it'll reach over. And look at how nice, oh, this is going to, I might be able to wash two towels in there. You know, it's going to take me a while every day washing until I get caught up, but dang. I can't wait to get started with this. I may have to read instructions today because I want to get started. I'm so excited. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Look at this. I'll put the link to where you can buy one of these if you want. But there's really good reviews on these. People even with homes have them. Be one lady bought it to wash her dog's bedding and towels in. And because she didn't want to wash them in her regular washer and just baby clothes instead of uh, washing, going to the laundry mat every day, and just different reasons why. I'm trying to get all of that off. Why she bought one, and other reasons, you know, people bought one. So that is. Nicer than what I thought it would. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that big. Okay, let's open the uh, clothesline. I'm so excited, you guys. 
Hey, I'm going to say that the directions are not very clear. It tells you what you should do, what you shouldn't do, but it doesn't tell you how to hook it up to your, to your, uh, sink or anything. And I figured it out. I was thinking that this went to the drain hose and I'm like, what the heck is this for? And then it dawned on me because the directions does say inlet hose. And then I'm like, oh, and then I looked up here and I'm like, oh, okay, it goes in the air so I don't have to get a bucket of water every time. And let me move all of this and put it up here. And it, it seems to be sticking pretty good. It has rubber on the bottom legs, so it'll stay, it seems, on the your sink counter if I'm saying if your counter space is level so you have to keep a watch on watch on it when it spins that it doesn't go all over the place and then fall so but this does go into look at that it's going into there. It's going into the machine. How cool is that? Oh, I'm so excited. Now I'm going to have to get step stool so I can see in. <laughs> and there's the handle. Yeah. And there's a knob where you can turn it on. So let's get started with a, a wash and plug it in. And see how it does. Okay, if anybody knows what to do, I can't even get to the drain hose. Look, as the water's going in, it's coming right back out. It makes no sense. The instructions don't say anything. It's not very clear. It really isn't very clear how to use that thing. Tells you what everything is for. <laughs> but I can't even get into here. Gee. Tells you how to keep. I mean. I don't know. Gee whiz. This is ridiculous. I can't even see really up in there. Oh, to see what's going on with the hose. If anybody knows anything about this, really, let me know. Huh. Okay, so far, it's washing really good. And you have... <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I was like, what in the world is, why is this thing coming? <laughs> anyway, I figured that out. It's washing good. I put the rinse, the so softener, the and I put white vinegar in my rinse too. The only thing that I don't like about it, there is no spinner on this thing. You have to wring out all your clothes over the sink. By hand. I've looked. I don't see where you can buy a spin basket. Or where there's a spinner. On this thing. But dang. I thought all washing machines had a spinner on it. Jeez. This thing don't even spin dry. This is going to be hard on me for. Like my robes. At least it'll drip dry out there, but still, I don't know. That's the, the only thing that I can complain about it. So, anyways, it does wash good. It does, I mean, you wouldn't believe how dirty your laundry is till you see it coming out of the pipe. And, uh everything so okay well 
it does wash good just don't spin draw and I'm still looking to see if I can find a spin basket or something more information on this thing because there is no 1-800 number for this company you email them and they're out of France <laughs> how you about that I didn't read far enough down on the reviews because now I see this back from a year ago please note this unit does not include a spin dryer so you have to hand wring them out yourself but having a washer supersedes the trouble of having to wring them out to dry I thought all washers had a spin dryer. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It does wash a uh, good amount of clothes though. I've gotten at least eight or nine pair, depending on the size. Well, if I'd seen that, then I would have found one that had a spin dryer, bought it for a little bit more. She was. Yeah, and I seen there where, like, May 11th, 2020, this lady's a nurse and she uh, washes, wants to wash her clothes separate from her family's. So she bought that little machine to wash her clothes. Wish I'd seen that. Oh well, can't do nothing about it now. It's too much hassle to try to return it and get one that spin draws. Dang, I thought for, I mean, it's seventy-two dollars. It should have a spin dryer. I guess the ones that have a spin dryer, yeah, they're almost. Here we go. That's a washer. I think this is the one, yeah. Yeah, I guess the ones that have a spin dryer are a bit more. That's a shame. Oh well, I'm just going to have to hand wring them and I got that thing outside, so it just have to drip dry. What I can't water, I can't get out. Okay, you can see it was easy to assemble. I have stainless steel pipes. This is plastic, and it was so easy to put together, and not heavy at all. And then you hang your, hang them on hangers, and hang your clothes in there. Isn't that neat? And it, look at that. So, seven pounds limit. I was wondering how many. Okay, evenly spaced per arm. Oh, okay. Wow, it holds a lot. I am so excited, you guys. This is going to help me so much. And most of y'all know I have fibromyalgia. So, it's very hard to get around. Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely excited about this. I'll put the description where I got that on Walmart too. The link, if you want to get one. I kept looking for clotheslines for the porch. And, you know... That I like this one and I got good reviews.
and I think that folds up over there the hanging part and I know this does and you can take it inside instead of leaving it out.